Anyways, I was sent up to my room and I uh, had a radio up there and I heard Charlie Rich behind closed doors and uh, I didn't even know what it was. I just knew that I didn't care if I got sent up to my room anymore because I had a station that I could listen to. And uh, I think that's when I first fell in love with country music, although it had nothing to do with the, you know, I was kind of like uh, you know, three or four years old and it should have made no sense to me what that dude was singing about, but his like emotion was like completely staggering to me. I guess I was about 10 when we moved down to Tampa, Florida, and I grew up with country music. And from there, I, you know, I went to school in, in um, Lynchburg, Virginia. I moved to North Carolina, and um, I actually went there to get my master's, and it just happened to be a really great music scene. You ask me where I came from and how I got here. Well, I moved so much. I didn't know how to answer I've always been a wandering soul It was always time to go Seems I've spent my whole life Holding on to play It never seemed to happen Carried me from California Tennessee, Tennessee to California. By the time I get all settled in, back to where I was before. Which one will my home California or Tennessee? I started playing music and. Um, and it's just slowly but surely, you know, I mean, it's what, I was, it's what I've always wanted to do. And it just took me a while. I didn't really know it was an option. I did grow up around musicians, around, but there was no set in the music in the house. So I didn't, I mean, I didn't know anybody that had, like, guitars or drums or sitting around. There was no artist. You know, so it just took me a long time. But the people always said free. Found and paved that gravel road that leads out of here. Made it easier to leave. Here in the California to Tennessee, Tennessee to California. By the time I get all settled in, back to where I was before. Which one? You know, an artist is lying if they say they don't expect fame, fortune, and, 
you know, bras and panties thrown up on stage, you know? That's, it's what I ever want. But those are the, like the expectations, you know, that you, you bring to the table. And, you know, all you can do is make music and, you know, and if I, you get to pay your bills playing music, which I do, then God's held up his end of the bargain, you know? All the other stuff are like expectations that I bring to the table, and that's where disappointment is. And it's, it's also really scary because I, I realize that I'm planning to pay my bills next year. Ultimately, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to, I mean, put my kids through college. I'm not having a girlfriend yet, but, you know, details, details. But, you know, on, on, on an imagination. <laughs> That's scary, you know, which is fine. I, I, would, I, would, I would have it no other way.